There's a new lens joining the Sony Alpha universe. Say hello to the new 35 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens. Welcome everyone, my name is Miguel Quiles. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery, and today I'm excited to introduce you to the 59th lens in the Sony lineup. It's one that many people have been waiting for. The new 35 GM sports a slim and trim size, weighing in at just over one pound, and pretty close to the size of another favorite in the Sony lineup, the 24 millimeter F1.4 GM. Touring the outside of the lens, you'll notice it features an aperture ring and an aperture click switch, a customizable focus hold button, and a focus mode switch to go between manual and autofocus. The 35 millimeter focal length is popular for shooting street photography, landscapes, astrophotography, weddings, and portraits, so it's likely to confront the elements at some point in its lifetime. With that in mind, the 35 GM is dust and moisture resistant, which is an important feature for the type of work that this lens will likely see. The front lens element has a fluorine coating that helps prevent fingerprints, dust, water, oil, and other contaminants. Shifting gears a bit, let's talk about what you don't see, and that's what's on the inside that makes this lens so exceptional. The 35GM has 14 elements in 10 groups. It features two XA, or extreme spherical, and one ED, or extra low dispersion elements. This helps to produce beautiful bokeh when shooting wide open, as well as minimizing chromatic aberration that is common in wide angle, wide aperture primes. Moving all of these lens elements on the inside are two XD linear motors. If you've ever used the 24GM or 400GM lenses and been amazed at how fast, accurate, and quiet the autofocus tracking is, you'll be happy to see its inclusion in the 35GM. I personally think it's one of the great advancements in lens design, and perhaps I'll make a dedicated video going more in depth on this in the future. Another feature of the 35GM is the Nano AR Coating 2 that has been applied to the various lens elements. This is important when you have a lens with this many elements that have extreme curvature, as it helps to minimize internal reflections that cause flare and ghosting in your images, even when you're shooting in strong sunlight or backlit situations. Using this lens for a variety of different shoots, I was really surprised at how close I could get to objects and still actually get them in focus. The 35GM has a 10.6 inch minimum focus distance and a 0.23x magnification, which is slightly ahead of other 35mm f1.4 lenses that are out there. Shooting close up and wide open on this lens gives you that beautiful foreground and background bokeh while keeping your subject nice and sharp. All of these features come together to make the new 35GM lens not only a great lens for shooting stills, but also for video. The compact size makes it easy to use this on a smaller gimbal. And as a matter of fact, many of my own videos that I've shot over the last four years were filmed at or near 35 millimeters. It's such a versatile focal length that really makes this a no brainer for hybrid shooters who use their cameras for both stills and for video. The 35 GM will be available in February and priced just under $1,400. I'll be doing some more shooting with this lens over the next few weeks, so be sure to leave any additional questions for me in the comment section below. While you're there, make sure you subscribe to the Alpha Universe channel as we have new videos releasing every single week. Speaking of new videos, check out one of the videos that you see here on the screen to continue your journey through the Alpha Universe. See you there.